high that I would like to explain the coefficient of, of determination in this video. So in LM function output, uh, you can see the R square value and adjusted R square value. In the previous example, we fit the price on square footage and you can see the multiple R squared value here and adjusted R square value here. So first one is written as R square, second one adjusted R square. So these are similar values. Adjusted R square is slightly smaller. What does that mean? <coughs> so at first, the R square value is defined by one minus SS error over SS total. So sum of squared error over sum of squared error total. And SS error is defined as the sum of residual square. So this is epsilon i hat square. And SS total is defined by just the variability of data. So yi minus y bar square. So it evaluates the how much variability the y has, response variable has. So R square is one minus SS error by, over SS total. So the, this ratio SS over SS total, so this is the ratio that the, we cannot explain the variability by predictor X. So that means that R, is, R square is the, basically the proportion of variability in Y explained by predictor X. Okay, so R square means if R square is 0 0.4551, so that means the 45.51% of variation in Y is explained by the predictor. And adjusted R square, we have similar formula, but the, um, we have some adjustment term, N minus two and N minus one. So this is the definition and the meaning of R square. And why adjusted R square is defined when these definitions are so similar. So that is actually the meaningful when we extend this linear model. So now we only have one predictor, but the think about the case that Y is explained by multiple predictors such as, okay, so if Y is calorie, um, Y is weight gain, maybe we wanna explain Y by maybe, um, calorie intake and also maybe amount of exercise and temperature and so on. So in such a case, so in general that we have P predictors X1 to XP, um, then adjusted R square is defined by this quantity. So we divide SS error by la smaller, smaller, um, you know, number. So this is basically um, done because if we have more predictors, then naturally that we can explain more for finite data. For example, if we have 100 observations and if we have 99 uh, predictors plus intercept, then we can explain everything unless predictors are linearly dependent. So in such a case, the you know, R square isn't really a good measure for overall fit. So we make the denominator this n minus p minus one is smaller than when p is larger, so that we can, you know, um, calculate a kind of appropriate measure that to see the how much x x can. And mathematically speaking, this adjusted r square has good property that expectation of adjusted r square is equal to zero if all predictors are useless. So that means beta one, beta two up to beta p is equal to zero, then adjusted R square is around zero. So R square is always between zero and one because this is proportion that the predictor explains why. But the adjusted R square is sometimes negative. It never exceeds one, but sometimes the small negative value such as negative the 0 0.02. So this is the um, definition of explanation, definition and explanation of the R square. Oh, and the R square is named R square because actually the R is, R corresponds to the correlation between X and Y. 